What is up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be trying to catch some carp. And I never really fished for carp before, but I fish this Cass River all the time. And I see huge carp in here, so if we do catch a carp, I'll probably cut a slab and taste it and then use the rest for catfish bait. So uh, let's see how it goes. And today we got, uh, I really didn't have, I really didn't have anything set up for it, but I got this uh, grit stick with this loose uh, reel. It's got 12 pound line on it. It's really not enough, but I got the drag set pretty good. So, and here, this is 15 pound line monofilament. And what we're just gonna be using today is just a hook and some split shots. For bait, we got some just some regular worms. I'm gonna try it out if the corn doesn't work. But I hear I didn't mix anything, just some straight up corn. I'm gonna cover my hook with it. See how that goes, so stay tuned. Alright, so we got a worm on this one and some corn on that one. We'll see which one catches more carp. I was fishing with a lightweight reel over there and I got this pretty big creek chub, so I think the worms might be working a little better today, so we'll try it out. We'll see. Almost lost this pole, guys. We got one. We got 15 pounds. Don't got no net. Trying to get them in, guys. Shit.
it out. I don't know how he's fixed it. Oh. <laughs> it's too big to eat, so we're not eating this one, but we're going to try to catch another one for sure. Chill out, buddy. Make sure I got it. I think he's got one blind eye. Hey, man. Gotta be 15 pounds. Wish I would have brought a scale. There he is, though, we got. There he goes. He was ready to go. Well, that was that was really fun all right guys did you see that that was a big carp that was my first time really i caught like little carp like fishing for bass and stuff but that was my first time catching a carp i didn't have the camera on but um as soon as it hit it drug my pole i had to run after it i like pretty much dove after it got my pole it was pretty much in the river barely barely got it and then I started reeling in and it started peeling out line. That's why, uh, and then once that happened, I set the hook really good and then I went over, started recording. So that's, and then after that, you've seen what happened. That was a little too big for eater size and it was my first, my personal best. I wish I would've had a scale. Did you see how fat that thing was? It wasn't, it wasn't like I've seen longer, but it was fat. It was about 15 pounds probably, maybe more, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna try to catch a little smaller one. If we can't catch any smaller ones, then we'll just cook up some rock bass or something. So stay tuned and uh, hope, I hope we get into some more. That was cool. It was the worms that worked. I still have the corn in there, but it was the worms. I had about two worms on there. So it worked. So stay tuned, guys. This is a big creek though, but it's basically the same thing. So. <laughs> See, it doesn't have that red fin like my other one, so I think this is an actual creek chub. But uh, we're keeping it. Guys, we caught 
we caught the carp we wanted, but I think it's an actual creek chub, but uh, I'm going to take it home. We're going to fillet it and see how it tastes. I'm glad I caught something like that because I really don't want to eat a lot of carp, so that'll be good. And I'm going to cut the rest in the... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut uh, and I'm gonna cut the rest in the cut bait for uh, some catfish we're gonna try and catch here next time. All right, see you at home. Alrighty, guys. I've never actually cleaned a cart before. Well, I guess this would be considered a creek chub but uh, I'm just gonna approach it like any other fish I guess we're gonna scale it first We're probably, I probably, because I'm in it, I, you can hear my voice in the, in the thing. Yeah. So, does mom watch your videos? Yeah. Well, to make sure I'm not in them. No. I don't know why she watches them. Usually, you cut the ribs with it, but these ribs are super thick, so I'm not cutting them. There's one. The when I was watching carp videos, all the other meat were red, was red. So and this one's not that red. So this must it's probably because it's a creek chub and not a carp. I'm not gonna touch the heart. You're gonna eat it. I'm not gonna touch the heart. I said. You're gonna eat it. No. Why not? Because I am night. the skin off it. Alright guys, so I'm not sure if this is like eating a regular carp because a lot of people that I've seen cook carp their meat was super red and this meat is white, so a little red part but uh i'm still calling the carp catch and cook even though that was a creek chub i'm pretty sure it's part of the uh carp family so but i'm just gonna fry them i was thinking about barbecuing them but we're just frying them if you guys want to see me barbecue them next time let me know and i'll do it all right so we're putting a little of the strikes breading in there Put a little A1 sauce in it. I like the honey barbecue sauce a little better, but. Get that in there. Some old bag. Then we got some of this chicken stuff. I'm not really. Well, there's gonna be a lot of bones in there, but 
I really didn't feel any bones though. I thought they were good, but you know, there's a lot of bones in them. So here's the final product. It's a lot of bones in them. I didn't thought I got them all, but there's so many little bones in these things. Look at that meat. It's a lot of bones, but it's good. So that was one of the best fish I've had. Just there's a lot of bones in there. So if there wasn't a lot of bones, it would have been a really good taste of fish. But uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know how many more carp catching cooks I'm gonna do. Maybe next time I'll just grind up everything, all the fillets since I got bones in them and just make little nugget things. But uh, if you like that, like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time.